Hello friends, welcome in another video of grammar. Today we are going to learn sentences. What is sentences? A group of words that completes in itself, typically contain a subject verb that expresses a statement, questions, etc. Today we are going to learn kinds of sentences. There are four kinds of sentences. We will go in detail. So let's see kinds of sentence. The first is assertive, second is interrogative, third is imperative, and fourth is exclamatory. So what is assertive sentence? Assertive sentence it, it means statement. Any kind of the sentence which is a statement or which is a declaration sometimes it is declaration it is a sentence and the structure of that is subject plus verb plus object okay then there are two sub types of the question there are two sub types the first is affirmative sentence and second is negative the affirmative sentence some people call it as a positive sentence also because of the negative affirmative which affirmates Sub, the structure is subject plus verb plus object of the component and negative that contains the negative words no, nor, not such kinds of words that is negative subject plus helping verb plus not plus main work plus object or the complement of the subject it is came under the negative sentences we got we will see these some examples the first my son plays cricket my son plays cricket this is affirmative sentence subject my son verb plays object it is cricket the another example, I will play table tennis. I will play table tennis. Subject, verb, plus object. The negative. The negative is subject plus helping verb plus not plus main verb plus object or the complement. My daughter is not playing cricket. Subject, helping verb is not main verb playing. So there are various examples you can do it by yourselves. The another kind of the sentence is an interrogative sentence. Interrogative means the sentence which is the questions, which is the questions. There are two types of questions. First is S no type question and second is WH type question. H no type question and WH type question. So what is yes or no type question when you ask the questions to somebody or anybody he or she will answer in yes or no that is yes or no question. The example is given for you is here. Do you like to play cricket? Do you like to play cricket? If you like yes. If you don't like no. Yes no. The answer comes in yes or no. When we will make the another video related to this, we will go in detail. The next is WH type question. What is WH type question? WH type question is the question which starts with WH word. The question which starts with WH word. WH word plus healthy verb plus subject plus main verb plus object or the complement. So, example is this. The general example. What is your name? What is your name? We ask. So my name is this and that, whatever. My name is blah blah blah, whatever. So that is the interrogative question. To interrogate is to ask. To uh, the question that is the imperative is order. Or we can call it. There are two kinds of 
imperative sentences. The first is affirmative sentence and second is negative sentence. Affirmative is the again the same one which affirmates. The structure is very simple. It is for the order verb plus object of the complement. Shut the door. Shut the door. Is shut is the verb the door. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. This is the affirmative. A negative, very simple. Don't verb plus object or the complement. Don't open the door. Open, shut the door. Don't shut the door. Don't open the door. Don't open your mouth. These are the examples. Very simple example. I hope if you have gone through in the detail, you will have no problem remain to you. The last one, exclamatory, which shows you exclamation. It shows you exclamation. In this, what is more important is the exclamation mark. Because while writing, okay, while saying you can act like this, you can say by your action, automatically it shows that is the exclamatory sentence. But while writing, at the end, it is the most needed thing is to put the exclamation mark. So the structure is what or how. When we use what and when we use how, that is good. We will go crack that to the next one. The after that is followed with the adjective that is followed by noun plus subject plus helping verb plus main verb. The example is what a beautiful flower it is. What a beautiful flower it is. So, the example is for you. I hope you understood this. If you have any problem related to this video, do write in the comment section. If you like, give big thumbs up. Do subscribe our channel and press icon, icon button so you can watch more videos on your favorite channel. Thank you.